Okay, hi friends, how are you? I'm fine, thanks to God. So this is a control uh, lecture class. So today we'll compete about the uh, second order uh, nilinear system. As you can see here, uh, consider the second order system x1 dot. Our x1 dot is uh, x1 dot is equivalent to minus x2. Look here. And our x2 dot is equivalent to x1 here, x1 plus x square, x1 square minus uh, 1 into x2. This is our system. So this is uh, equation 1. Look here. And this is equation 2. Equation 2. So the question in here is uh, this system, this particular second order system is stable or not? Stable or not? Not stable. That is the question. This system is stable or not? To do that, to check the stability and the non-stability of the system, in a particular point, we have a metrologist. So the first one is uh, less solution. Let's start whether it is stable or not. We have to prove. We have to prove whether it is stable or not. So, and step one. Step one. We have to make uh, the system, one system, a given system is said to be stable or not. Just in step one, you have to take equilibrium point. So take equilibrium point. Take zero, zero at equilibrium point. Equilibrium point. Equilibrium point. So at equilibrium point, at this point, which means here we have x2, x2, and here we have x1. So in this particular system, this particular system is operated at this region, at this region. So this point is uh, at point x1, 0, x2, 0. So this is an equilibrium point. So our system is operated at equilibrium point. Whether it is stable or not, we'll see later on. If it is stable, the system is uh, uh, the system is going to origin, which is starts from anywhere and which is diver diverges to the origin, to the center. If it is unstable, the system stability or the system starts from this particular point, this origin, and which goes to out of the loop, out of the system, and it is final point is uh, infinity, which means that when t, t equivalent to zero, the, the system uh, goes to infinity. So the system trajectory is goes to infinity for uh, unstable case. So we'll see that point after all. But for now, I will uh, share you uh, the, the steps, especially the steps, how to guard the stability and the non-stability of the uh, system. So in step one, we'll start from the origin at equilibrium x1 dot is equivalent to zero and x2 uh, dot is equivalent to zero. So which means that if x1 dot is zero in here, in x1, x1 point is, uh, x1 dot is zero, the first derivative of x1 is zero, so which is equivalent to zero. Which means that, in another sense, x2 is equivalent to 0 when, when x1 dot is equivalent to 0. So x1 dot is equivalent to 0, x2 is 0. And the second thing is x2, 0 means that x1, x1 plus, mm -hmm, plus x1 square, x1 square minus 1, x2 is 0. So we have to uh, uh, expand this equation. When you expand this equation, x1 plus mm -hmm, x1 plus x1 square x2 minus x2. x2. So this is our first equation and this is our next second equation. So this is, uh, suppose this point is f1, this is f1 and this is f2. This is a step one. A step two, step two you have to use the jacobian matrix jacobian jacobian 
matrix jacobian matrix so the jacobian matrix j of x is equivalent to uh, 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 the partial the derivative of the partial differential equation of f1 with respect to partial of x1 partial of f1 with respect to x1 partial of f2 with respect to f1 i mean x1 partial of f2 with respect to what with respect to x2 which is partial so this is the matrix value we have to compute this matrix finally delta of x delta of x delta dot of x is equivalent to delta of x times mm -hmm, times mm, delta dot of x is equal to delta of a, delta of x times the loop x here so we have to find out this point so this is our a matrix so this is our a matrix we have to take the partial at point here at point x1 at point x2 at point uh, function one function one function two this is why our system is second order as you can see from the system here why you we only take the second derivative the second partial derivative in here so the basic pattern or the logic in here is we have second order system our system is second order system that's why we take only the uh, the matrix so the combination of a is later on uh, it seems to be like a b c d this is our matrix so we have to find a our a is f1 our b is f2 f2 our c is f3 and our d is uh, so called f4 so finally the a matrix uh, looks like this and we have to uh, substitute the values at the point and finally uh, let's check so for the time being the uh, derivative of f the derivative of the function at f at x1 is uh, the partial differential equation of f1 with respect to partial of x1 is our f1 is a, a minus x2 here minus x2 is our uh, f1 our f1 minus x2 this is uh, our f1 uh, where is this is yeah this is our f1 this is our f1 look this is our f1 so our f1 is partial of uh, point minus x2 with respect to x1 this goes zero partial of f1 with respect to partial of x2 partial of uh, uh, our f1 is minus x2 with respect to partial of x2 this point is uh, uh, when you derivate uh, when we take the partial differential of the x2 with respect to x2 is minus one therefore our a is here our a is a matrix is equivalent to a b c d so our a is zero our look here so our a a is equivalent to our small a is zero we got zero in here and our uh, uh, b is minus one we got minus one in here so that's why because our combination the matrix combination is zero minus one we take the same procedure a the second function is one and minus one this is our a therefore if it is that we have to take uh, 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 the same methodology in here so came back to here and we'll compete for the again values because we got one is one is the point so the again values uh, again values so lambda of i minus a this is the determinant is equivalent to zero. The determinant of lambda times uh, i minus a is equal to zero. So, which is uh, represents the another sense. This is the determinant lambda of i minus uh, a. So here we have lambda of a is equivalent to lambda zero zero. Look lambda minus our a matrix is from here. Our a matrix is 0, minus 1, 1, and minus 1. So our a matrix is 0, minus 1, uh, uh, 1, and minus 1. This is our a matrix. This is our a matrix. 
So we take the de, the de, de, determinant of this. So finally, uh, lambda minus zero. This lambda minus zero is lambda. Uh, zero minus lambda. I mean zero minus minus one is, is one. Zero minus one is uh, one. Lambda minus of minus one is lambda plus lambda plus one. This is our determinant. Therefore, we have to take the, 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 the determinant of this. So our equation is lambda into uh, lambda plus 1. And 1 times 1 is 1, which is minus 1, minus 1. Look, so uh, if that is so, no, this is minus 1, sorry. This is minus 1. So which is minus 1, minus 1. Minus of 1 is plus 1 is equivalent to 0. So we have to split this equation. So lambda square here plus lambda plus 1 is equivalent to 0. This is our characteristic equation. So if this is our characteristic equation, so this is so-called characteristic equation. Characteristic equation. This is our characteristic equation. So we have to split. For the factorization, it is uh, not uh, uh, good. It's not. Uh, M is a characterization factor. So we have to use a, a quadratic equation for lambda 1 and lambda 2. So apply quadratic equation. Quadratic equation. So implement quadratic equation minus b plus or minus radical b square minus 4ac look over uh, 2a so our b is is here 1 so minus 1 mm -hmm. plus or minus our b square is here again our b square is again 1 so 1 minus 4ac means again 4 because our a and c are 1 1 over 2 so after factorizing this function we got uh, this is minus 1 over 2 minus plus or minus radical 3 minus 3. So we have to take i or j, j root 3 over 2. So when we look, we look the, the eigenvalue, eigenvalue the, uh, the, the real part of the eigenvalue, look here, the real part of the eigenvalue is negative. When we see the real part of the eigenvalue is negative, our system is Asymptotically stable. Asymptotically, asymptotically stable, which is stable. So, finally, uh, uh, we start from uh, step one, then step two, Jacobian. After Jacobian, we find out this uh, matrix, and we find out this matrix. This is our A. So. Based upon this A matrix, we solve for the uh, characteristic equation in here. So after solving the characteristic equation, we got lambda 1 and lambda 2. By the way, this is lambda 1, comma 2 is equivalent. So our lambda 1 is minus 1 over 2 plus uh, something here. So the real part is negative. I mean the real part. So the uh, this is a complex uh, uh, function. So for the, for the complex function, the real part is uh, negative. This indicated that our system is asymptotically stable, which means that when you see the uh, phase uh, portrait graph, when you look at the phase portrait graph, we have uh, here x1, and this is x2. x2. So the system is starts from the origin, which is negative 1 over 2. So negative 1 over 2. The system loop, the focus is started from the somewhere here from somewhere here let's say from the negative half region which came to the origin which came to the origin like this look this is uh, uh, the the uh, phase portrait uh, uh, graph so this is so called the phase portrait phase portrait graph so finally, we reach to this particular point. So our system is asymptotically stable by checking uh, this by passing these two step, two step, we reach finally in here. 
so our system is stable so thank you for uh, this uh, particular pr uh, presentation for uh, listening and watching this particular video so don't forget like share subscribe for the next hot and very important control class lectures thanks now